so um, I just felt really inspired by coming across somebody new on YouTube and watching the way that she just tunes in and delivers what comes through and it's so beautiful and the energy that she's channeling I just recognize it and I want to step deeper into um, receiving that energy and um, translating that energy and anchoring that energy here on earth so um, I just have to do it I have to do it um, so let's just I'm just gonna um, take a moment to tune in and just see what spirit gives me so just clearing myself and um, dedicating myself as a clear channel making that my intention to be a clear channel recognizing that that is what I am so I'm hearing that it's time for us to stop denying the truth of our being and the truth that we know ourselves to be I think there are many humans at the moment that are experiencing themselves beginning to, to experience themselves slightly differently at the moment and that slight difference is actually the more authentic selves that they know themselves to be so this moment in time we're um, stepping into 2017 and it's um, there's more, no more denying the truth that we know ourselves as um, so there's uh, no more hiding It's time for us to become a joyful expression of that which we are. And I'm hearing that it's not going to be just the people who see themselves as or understand themselves as light workers or whatever words you want to put on the people that um, understand more than just 3D reality. Um, but this awakening is happening within uh, many, many people. So there's a grand alignment that's going to happen within this year. And that grand alignment is putting a lot of the puzzle pieces in place. So a lot of people have been, um, okay, so if I look back, it looks like they're already in the right place because they've been working towards being able to step into the puzzle piece in the right place. I don't know if that made sense then. So although may, many of us maybe have been feeling like we're not quite stepping up and not quite doing what we should be doing, we have been working towards this moment in our own way and actually all the other pieces around us weren't quite in the right place for us to be able to fully step into what we are about to step into and, and to fully bring through what we've come here to bring through so well, the feeling I have then is like God let yourself off the hook because there was a big there was a big energy in December that came through where I saw a lot of um, I'm just gonna say light workers it just it's still a it's still a term that just resonates with me or that just makes sense I think we know who we're talking about so there are a lot of light workers that are already living and living their purpose um, and there was a big energy coming through of like right come on everybody else step up step up and um, and I felt that call within as well and it was like okay really cannot hold back anymore but also something else that I recognize that it that does is that it can play on the it, it plays into that part of us that feels guilty or feels bad um, for not having been able to do this in the past. So, yeah, so what I'm seeing here is like really time to just completely let go of any blame, any guilt, any shame of not being, of not having delivered as much as you maybe think you should have done. And really the should there is um, just important to hear that, that, it, that those are shoulds and a lot of those feelings um, yeah, 
just based in in the mind. So yeah, there's a lot of mind coming through in December, I think. Um, so what else is I'm seeing for for this year in terms of things that I want to share? I'm just hearing this is a year of integrity and a year of inner calm and inner peace. Though that may not be what is playing out on the outside, it's actually going to trigger deeper inner peace because, because we are not finding that peace outside and we're so desperately wanting that peace, there's going to be a big focus on us finding, our, finding inner peace and many teachers and many people that have been learning about inner peace and maybe these are the ones that haven't been stepping up are suddenly going to be offering all that they've learned up until now and there's going to be a bigger audience coming in. I remember seeing this years and years and years ago of like, like oh we're all in the right place and when more people wake up then we'll be where we need to be and I really feel like like I'm going to see that this year is the year that that happens. I think so much happened last year that's really shaken people up. So it might be enough to catalyze a really big, um, a really big shift that is coming in. Anything else that needs to be shared? So it's really important for us to um, receive ourselves as the gift that we are. I think I, I think I've heard that being said today, and it just really wants to come through in this moment. Um, receiving ourselves as that important thread, like we each are an important thread that makes up the whole tapestry. So it's really be a really great practice to focus on receiving yourself as that, receiving um, your worthiness, your wholeness. Um, and realizing that if you are here and alive then you have gifts to give and that the world is waiting to receive your gifts in, in a loving embrace and, and not in a, um, in a pushy um, kick up the back side way I mean we can do that to each other if we want but um, nature itself I don't perceive really works like that and I think Spirits doesn't really work like that. Well, it, it does. I'm just thinking about the energy of Carly, which I really felt uh, last year from about the middle of the year when in England Brexit happened. And I was just, I don't usually talk about Indian god deities and gods and goddesses. and But I was just like, oh my God, this is Carly. Like, everything's okay. It doesn't look okay. This is Carly coming in and like turning everything upside down but from such a loving place um, and so that energy is still running now as well okay so I'm being asked to just mention earth connections which is a big part of what I focus on and um, there are many beings that are coming through that are earth beings so Within the spiritual community, there's a lot of people focusing on angels and ET energies, archangels, ascended masters. And we also have, I mean, we as in earth beings, have all of these other um, energies and beings that wish to work with us that are of the earth. And they are, they are, I want to say equal to the ET, Ascended Masters, Angelic Realms, all of those, and um, their energy is going to be coming a lot more prominent this year. Um, so we're going to be seeing an uprising in people connecting to Earth spirits, to the elemental energies. Um, personally for me right now, I'm having a big connection with the gnome energy. Um, gnomes have been around me for, for quite a few years, um, I've been quite comfortable, I've been learning to be more and more comfortable talking about fairy energies, but I've had big resistances and this is something that really wants to come through me. I've been really 
denying it and it's really halted halted my my expression in the world because it's like I know I have to talk about these energies and I've just been afraid I've been really afraid to basically and I'm like I'm not going to be afraid anymore so um just introducing this uh, gnome energy these um earth dwellers um who do a lot yeah they're really here to help humanity awaken to joyfulness inside themselves that's something that I heard today on somebody else's video um I can't remember her name maybe I'll leave a link below if I post this because this is like me being completely naked I like don't have any makeup on I've been ill for a few days I just feel like saying fuck it right now like I'm more worried about what I look like than than stepping up and sharing a message I think it's just like right now it just feels like total bullshit so I'm just calling bullshit on that one um so gnome energies earth energies it's so yeah it, I mean what I've been hearing for years is basically if we want to live, if humanity wants to live in harmony with the earth, then we have to be in conversation with the earth and we have to be, um, we have to mend our relationship with the elemental kingdom. Um, yeah, so what I'm seeing is there's going to be a big, I, I was told years ago that it was going to be, that connecting to fairies was going to be as normal and mainstream as um, angelic energies have become and I and I think that is uh, on the rise you see um, books on um, on fairies in mainstream shops now and I think that it is much more um, acceptable and so I feel very much that the other earth energies such as gnomes and I yeah I'm gonna I'll do a more video on this and just talk about it more and I just I really know that I'm here to help just ground and normalize um, these earth energies oh so okay is there anything else you're trying to say to me let's just get a calm here in this moment and there's just a beautiful sense of peace that I want to rub through so just inviting you in this moment just to open to this energy of heart-centered, loving inner peace, where we can just begin to drop so many of our defenses. It's really become about becoming quite naked this year, I think. Really, yeah, dropping our defenses and just finding that inner peace. Hmm, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, thank you so much for just taking the time to see this video right to the end. love so much peace and I hope you enjoy your time